I think you make your own opportunities. There's always, I would say, you're not the thoughts in your head. They're just thoughts. And you can make up new ones. Whether it's writing down negative thought patterns and creating more positive ones, like whatever you need to do to recognize you're just spiraling. And we do it all the time. And it is a practice. And so I have to even myself catch myself being really negative about things. And it also depends on how you were brought up. Were you a glass half empty family? Were you a glass half full family? Like, what's your coping strategies in life? See, I'm not a musician. I don't play an instrument. So for me, I'm my gift is being a communicator. So I feel like it's the tone of my voice and how I communicate how I'm feeling is what lands. And I've had to learn that that's my gift and that's valid. But once I got comfortable with what my unique gift is, it made everything so much better because I wasn't trying to be something that I'm not, you know? So I I just feel like I have a really good time walking into a writing session now because you kind of, the confidence grows over time. I'm always trying to make sure the listener is going to get that oh, feeling. That's what I'm going for, where that emotional point lands and then they don't feel so alone or they can relate to it. So that's that's usually what I'm going for more than anything. Oh my goodness. Uh, that's just such a big word. Legacy. I, I don't know. I mean, I'd like just to be known for someone who was wholly who they are and honest in their truth about it through my art, I could say. That would be nice. I was doing a lot of spiritual practice. This is not me. <laughs> I'm not what I do. And, you know, what are you going to do with this experience? Keep your feet planted on the ground. And, and I made a promise to enjoy it and savor it in case that was the peak. But it was then writing the second album. And that was just the, 